السلام علیکم ایوری ون ہاؤ یو ڈوئنگ آج ہم لوگ لائیو ہیں دبئی سے اور یہ ایمی کا شو ہے بٹ میں انٹرنیٹ دیر سے ملنے کی وجہ سے یہ آپ کو ڈیلے بھی کر دی ہے اور ایمی کے ساتھ آپ کو آج بہت سارے مزید بھی زبردست قسم کے لوگ ملیں گے اور وہ آپ کے ساتھ گپے لگائیں گے اور آپ کو کچھ سکھائیں گے کچھ میں بھی سیکھوں گا سو لیٹ سی کے کون کون ہمارے ساتھ ہے مجھے ایک منٹ دیجیے گا میں ذرا لنک کو شیئر کر دوں انڈیا <laughs> And us, it's an honor for him, for me to meet him. His name is uh, Ram Subramanian. And there he is. Hi. Hello. I can see the name. It's Amy. Hi, Amy. This is Ram here. Hello, Ramya. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's Ram. Ram, not Ramya. Ramya is... Oh, uh, Ram. Yeah. Where are you from, Amy? Uh, I'm from Boston. the united okay. states oh great uh, yeah. I, i just realized that there's a, it says be live there's a live session going on so what is this about rehan it's her show okay it's your show i believe uh yeah it's our show we have a <laughs> weekly show every week where we answer people's questions about entrepreneurship oh great that's great yeah. so you're the right I... person to speak with in that case what's that i said you're you're, you're the right person to speak with in that case I, I hope so. I'm an entrepreneurship teacher. What do okay. you do? Um, I'm a filmmaker. I'm an advertising professional. I'm a writer. Um, I'm also an activist of sorts, uh, which is I talk about Indo-Pak peace and I use the internet uh, to uh, promote peace between both nations. And I use creativity and ideas and films and writing to uh, get that done. I, Wonderful. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I run a website which is called voiceofram.com. uh where i believe everybody should have a voice so this is my voice and i talk about uh, things that make sense to me um and i'm trying to figure out what to do with it and how to take this forward so that's that's the cool. space i'm yeah so you're you're taking uh an idea and you're turning it into some sort of social impact business yes i'm trying to turn it into a social impact business because uh uh like everything that needs legs to run this needs um, fuel which is money so that it grows it continues to grow and it uh, is a self sustaining model then uh huh so i figure out a few ideas basic ideas which is uh, i'm going to um, uh, uh if you check the website you'll uh, you'll realize that uh, we use uh, uh, we use news we counter propaganda because that's the world today we live in uh, every newspaper right. is spreading hatred uh, and this is also an alt news channel in that way so where we talk about uh, uh, what what the media is lying and, and our views on it i uh, also use uh, advertising as a medium because of the audience that i have a lot of videos that i do go viral which has uh, right any any from uh, 2 million to uh, 20 million views so, wow so uh, the last video which i put out a week back hit around uh, 7 million almost wonderful yeah so um how how are you starting your business have you thought about how this is yes yes uh, i'm trying to collaborate with brands to uh, talk about csr because i also talk about uh, peace and equality and everything comes under the umbrella of equality which is women's rights uh women empowerment and uh, even i even talk about uh, color equality uh ah, that is yes. yeah because it's important to uh, redefine what beauty means in this world uh it's Absolutely. important to, because uh, beauty is judged on age beauty is judged on skin color beauty is judged on health 
and uh, I, I believe that uh, that scale itself is completely wrong, and that scale needs to be redefined so that uh, uh, beauty is me measured for what we have in front of us and not what measures up on a scale which is perspective actually. So um, I agree. those are the yeah. Uh, so I'm collaborating with brands. Um, I'm also thinking of creating technology that will connect people, ideas that will connect people to each other, and see if I can monetize that. Interesting. So how, how would you monetize it? Um, uh, those are completely dependent on the ideas that I create. Like, um, a, a, if it is an app which connects people from two nations, now that. Uh, Piece becomes the vehicle on which the app travels and is downloaded, uh -huh. and then it's monetized. Because if you have uh, traction and if you have enough numbers on a platform, then you can figure out what to do with that platform. Advertising is the cheapest way to monetize anything. Um, I'm sure there are other ways to think about, uh, like maybe additional services on each app. Uh, I still haven't thought about that part. But at a base level, I think uh, connecting with brands and connecting with uh, uh, like talking to brands and collaborating with brands is one way of uh, it's the first way of doing it. That's my first step. I look at. That's great. So, will you have any curriculum that teaches peace? Would I have any curriculum that teaches peace? Uh, yes, um, Rehan has been speaking to me about this. Um, I'm not an uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not somebody who subscribes to a curriculum because I'm a product of uh, failure. As in, uh, I, I flunked out of school and I flunked out of college, so um, I, I I don't subscribe to uh, uh, boxes, which is a curriculum. But yes, I know um, uh, what I would probably do is make videos about it um, and and uh, share my experiences. And if people can learn from that, great. But and exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm slightly uh, skeptical about making a curriculum um, about peace because I think this is one thing that needs to be open source. Oh, I agree. You can make curriculum that's open source. In fact, yeah. Ram, I would love to invite you to my what? virtual classroom. Uh, okay. It's a group on Facebook. Rehan's okay. a member and he, he was part of founding it. And it's okay. based on this idea that there are now over 50 countries represented in my virtual classroom. And people okay. come together to teach each other and to help answer each other's questions. Okay. So, yeah. And it's, it's, I'm the anti establishment educator. I think that the way education is structured right now globally is oppressive and it's, uh, exclusionary, and it keeps some people, it keeps most people out, and gives just the, um, the fortunate few who have the money. They're the ones who get access to education, yeah. right? So we yeah. need to blow open the box, and we yeah. need to redefine education. And if you're teaching peace, we need to develop some curriculum to teach people, and whatever that is, it can be videos. It can be actually, you know, courses that people work through. But yeah. I love your idea. And Ram, it's actually similar to what I'm trying to figure out because okay. I teach business, entrepreneurship, career skills, and the confidence okay. to build the, the future in the world you want to live in. Great. Yeah, that's, that's that's the same space I'm in. So uh, my, my uh, yeah, my, my thing is called Voice of Ram because uh -huh. it's my opinion which I am putting out without fear. And uh, yeah, and, and uh, peace is also something which if you talk about peace, you are and, uh, you're, you're, you're being anti-establishment because the establishment does not talk about peace. They don't want look, peace. Yeah, if you look at every voice of the establishment, they always talk about, uh, they're very belligerent voices. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so what we do is also very anti-establishment according to the establishment. Uh, that again is their perspective. I don't believe so. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I know what you're trying to do, which is basically uh, uh, a culture of individual uh, individualism, which is where people are individuals who um, have the confidence to uh, become who they want to be. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and exactly. And, and work together. So those individuals need to take their power back you know, yeah. take it back from government, back from the establishment, 
and then build communities that are based on peace and collaboration. I agree. I agree. Um, and this, I don't know if uh, I would put it as taking the power back from the government. I would just uh, uh, because at, at a daily basis, I don't think we are uh, uh, we involve the government with in our lives on a daily basis. The government involves itself in our lives sometimes, but in most cases, what the government does and what we do is like completely different. Uh, we live our lives, and that the system works the way the system works. So um, uh, even when I said um, I would rephrase it as uh, uh, growing irrespective of your surrounding, irrespective mm -hmm. of uh, the forces that uh, that surround you. Uh, a creeper right. finds a way to creep up anything, as opposed to a tree which needs to be a little more. Uh, uh, how do I say this? Uh, it needs a little more. Uh, 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 it needs conditions which are conducive for a tree growth, mm -hmm. as opposed to so a. Mm -hmm. And it's a matter of reclaiming our sovereignty. Um, I mean, yeah. there are governments. Many of us are able to just exist, you know, day by day, and just pay our taxes, and yeah. you know, deal with the government on the rare occasion. But too many people around the world, they're kept in poverty. They're starving, they don't have access to clean water, they have access to zero education because of oppressive laws and rules of governments, right? Sure. So you and I are fortunate enough to not have that experience on a daily basis. Yeah. But my experience, especially in my virtual classroom, I know that I'm reaching people all around the world. We have class members from Congo. I mean, okay. Congo of all places. They yeah. are able to come in and they're able to learn the career readiness skills, ask questions about being an entrepreneur and get support from people all over the world. And yeah. this is this is the new version of teaching where there are no barriers. You can find the information you need and you can you can connect with the people who can help you online. Yeah, that's that's it. That's a very noble thing that you're doing, Amy. So. Uh, I will uh, once I get back to Mumbai. I am from Mumbai. I live in India, and once I get back, I'll connect with you. And I'm sure you're on Facebook also, so I'll uh, catch up oh, with yeah. you. Yeah, and then we'll, and we'll see how we can take this forward. Yes, absolutely. And I would love to see how we can do that together, um, because I'm I'm all about peace. <laughs> I mean, when we connect, then, you'll you'll see. It's let's, it's. That's the only way we can achieve peace in the world is, is by starting building peace within ourselves and doing it locally. Otherwise, this idea of peace, I mean, how many wars have been fought in the name of peace? Yeah. It's just, yeah. it doesn't work. Yeah, it is, it is. Lo lovely chatting with you, Amy. It's uh, nice you to meet you. You too, Ram. Nice to meet you. I'll see you online soon. Enjoy I'll your trip. You. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. You too. Bye bye. I'm gonna pass you on back to Rehan right now. So Thank you. Uh, oh, one second. I'm just gonna pass you. Sir. Hi, Amy. Hello. This is Ajad. How are you doing? I'm well. Who am I talking to? Uh, this is Ajad from originally from Pakistan, but now I'm residing in UAE, UAE right now. Hi, Ajad. And tell uh, me about yourself. What do you do in UAE? Uh, actually, I am joined uh, here Nielsen, uh, the measurement company. I have uh, joined uh, Nielsen in the project management office department, and uh, we are taking some like uh, digitization projects. We are uh, seeing some of the digitization sort of things. So uh -huh. basically, measurement company. We do the measurement for the like big retailers and big manufacturers all around the globe. So right now, I am. Uh, here allocated with them as part of a like a short time uh, assignment with them but uh, before that I was used to run a school like in Pakistan but unfortunately oh, really? yeah exactly uh, that didn't, what that happened didn't to the school actually uh, it, it didn't go well uh, it was uh, like uh, in the partnership with someone and uh, we could not make it like could not take it to the next level, so we have to end it up. 
because of some financial sort of thing and this thing. But I have I have got the passion of of keep on teaching, and uh, I'm I'm working on some of the things like online sort of education for for uh, intermediate students and for the minimum like uh, Montessori students or for the lower level students. We are working. I'm working with someone on the linguistic skills of of, of uh, students. That's wonderful. I would love to have you join my virtual classroom here on Facebook. I was um, I, I not able to talk to you uh, before that. Uh, in fact, uh, it was uh, like uh, not good on my side. Uh, Rehan Alawala already was always used to say that you should uh, keep on talking and you should connect with all of us. But it was bad on my side. I, I couldn't able to connect with you because uh, I have to share those ideas which I've already developed with and they would like to share my thoughts and my my understanding towards the uh, virtual classroom as well. Wonderful. I would love that. Thank you so much. My pleasure, my pleasure. Um make sure you make sure you my name is Amy Carrier so make sure you connect with me on Facebook. Yeah, yeah I've connected already with you on Facebook. Wonderful. It's so nice to talk with you. Thank you. Enjoy your time. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Hi, everybody. I know we're not taking questions just yet, but I hope you're enjoying this. Hi, Rehan. Anybody wants to join me? We're here in Dubai. Hi, the Shisha uh, Lounge in Al Hudeba Award Building. Come and join us. This is our host. Yes, introduce yourself. We have a question. You want to start business, remember? So his question is uh, Where did she go? I'm here. Okay. So his question is. He has a job in Dubai for the last nine years, but he doesn't know how to buy his own house. Uh, what can he do? Yes. <laughs> the, so the, one of the answers we received it. Just spend the, the money and, and, and buy. <laughs> but where does he get the money? Is his question. A bank. Hi, madam. <laughs> Hi there. You, you aren't really asking me where to get the money to buy a house, are you? <laughs> really help you. Like, well, where can I get the money? She's very really connected in Boston. In Boston is Harvard and MIT. So, wo sari log how is it? Innovation, this is Silicon Valley. Hai. Silicon Valley is very big. It's very small. Within a circle, you have a lot of people. Amy, he's asking something. Speak okay. louder. Yeah, Ma'am, how, how to get a money? How to get money? <laughs> how to get money? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know, that's a really big question. I, how how have you gotten money so far? <laughs> He's directly to the point. <laughs> so don't don't waste the time. So they try come to the direct point. Yes, yes. Don't waste time. So what is your name? I, I don't know who I'm talking to. Uh, this is Sayyid Ali. Say it again. Sayyid Ali. Sayed Ali. It's nice yep. to meet you, Sayed Ali. I'm Amy Carrier. Um, I would also like to uh, have someone just pop online and tell me how to get all the money I need to buy a house. <laughs> so tell me, Sayed Ali, tell me about yourself. What do you do? Um, Basically, I'm working in IFCO group and uh, working in HR department. Okay. And, uh, so, my position is uh, payroll executive. I'm making payroll for 950 people. Say that again? I'm making make a payroll for 950 people. Wow. That's wonderful. Yeah, there are six companies in IFCO. I make the payroll for six companies. The job is about to go die. <laughs> Well, that happens. So, what are you doing? Are you are you planning for what's next? Recently, I've got married, so you know very well. After the marriage, no one no one can do that. <laughs> okay, you're telling me. Yep. Um, okay, so what would you like to tell? This is our uh, this is our weekly entrepreneurship show. There are lots of people who are asking questions. Uh, about how to start businesses and become entrepreneurs. And they're eagerly awaiting us answering their questions. Do you have any advice for them? 
Um, <clears throat> lots of the questions. Do I? Oh, no, she wants to advise, advise for, uh, ma'am, you want to advise for that? For what? For everyone who's tuning in, because this is our weekly entrepreneurship show. So we answer people's questions about how to start their businesses, how to be more successful, how to solve their problems. Uh, see, it depends on, uh, on the, uh, the person, how to create the business and how to develop the business. Uh, first of all, he needs to see and visit that, uh, that particular area. What is the uh, criteria for that? If there is a uh, like um, there is a very important thing is there. Suppose if I want to make one one shop, uh huh. Shisha. If that shisha is not working on that particular area, so we need to postpone that uh, that particular point. We need to invest the money, which we need which we need to we get the uh, we get money from that. Okay. So ideas is lots of ideas is there. So you first you need to visit that area, particular area. Uh -huh. So you need to visit the area. So is that part of um, doing market research? Yeah, market. What are you What are you going to learn by visiting the area? If I uh, <laughs> suppose if I uh, if I want to one uh, one show in um, Dubai. Uh huh. So there is a one shop is uh, I uh, I want to business one cloth shop. Okay. Okay. So if there is a um, requirement of that uh, that shop, so I can open that shop. If there is a not requirement for particular uh, particular things, so we will postpone the postpone my uh, cloth shop, and we will research what is the required for criteria and what is the required for that particular. Uh, in um, particular areas, what we need to do this. So okay. we will ask, we will ask in, in, uh, in the market and research in the market. So then, then I will do that. Okay. So, okay. So what you're saying, it's interesting because last week we had um, someone who said that doing market research is not important to starting your business. And I actually like that you're addressing this because we didn't get to address it last week. Um, so what one piece of advice besides doing your research and visiting the site, what other piece of advice can you give our viewers? No, first you have to research it. Uh, research it. Without researching, you cannot invest the money. Because you know, if I, if I invest $1 million in a particular business and I, I don't know if we will get them written back or not. Business will be developed or not. If I didn't decide, so I, will not, uh, I don't know about it. So I have to, full, uh, before before I started the business, you have to decide for it. Yes, I agree. Yeah, great point. Thank you. Welcome. It's so nice to talk with you, Saeed Ali. Hi, Momina. I just saw Momina in the background. Uh, talk to her? Okay. Hi, Jawad here um, from Pakistan, and uh, I live in Abu Dhabi. Uh, I'm a financial controller. Uh huh. I work in uh, one of the uh, big oil and gas sector, Edmar Group, Abu Dhabi. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's what you do. Okay. So what one piece of advice would you give our viewers today? This is uh, the weekly entrepreneurship show that we do with Rehan. I do with Rehan. My name is Amy Carrier and I'm an entrepreneurship teacher. And we typically answer people's questions, which we'll get to in a minute. But this is a great opportunity to learn from all of you what one piece of advice would you give to our viewers to help them I, be more I successful? Think, first of all, I have a problem which needs to be addressed. Or I need advice. Okay. Um, I'm okay. a finance guy, uh, working well, uh, not bad. My position, my position is good, income is not bad. Uh, but again, I need financial independence, you can say. Um, get out of this 9 to 5 and uh, first to 30 
uh, monthly salary cycles mm-hmm. so i don't want to depend that on everything. so what any advice for me how to get out of this uh, monthly cycle and 9 to 5 cycle yeah well you're asking the question that everybody asks right yeah. Yeah. um and it's it's challenging but the one piece of advice i would give you is if you have expertise um you can develop that expertise into online courses and then that can become passive income for you it does it's not you don't become an instant millionaire overnight but it is a stream of income that you put online on platforms where anybody can do their research find you pay the $5 or $20 for your course and if you get 10 or 100 or 10,000 people buying this course all of a sudden that's passive income so it's a process nobody can really get out of the cycle and you're actually you're you're fortunate i hate to say this but you're fortunate if you do have an income and a full-time job that's dependable because most people in the world don't right so the next, I, from what I've seen, the next level uh, of income is selling our expertise globally. And even if you're developing a small course that's only $5, if 10,000 people buy that course every couple of months, that's good money, right? That's not a bad idea. But I have one more idea, and I don't know. I think about, you know, uh, informal technology can help uh, helping out, now it is very important in people's personal lives and especially if you want to start a business which is much easier right now like i'm i have a thought to start a like a country like pakistan uh, uh, app based pharmacy where you can uh, order your app uh, your medicine and can be delivered at your doorstep it's like the same like uber or cream concept uh, uh-huh I don't know. So are you saying you want to create something like Uber or you just want to create an app? It's like it's like, it's like a Uber, like the same kind of service, but it's a pharmacy. So no need to go to the pharmacy to buy your medicines. I see. Uh, just scan your prescription and uh, or just select the uh, medicine and afterwards you're going to place an order and you're going to deliver at your doorstep. Right. Well, have you been paying attention to what Amazon is doing? Um, Amazon, so Amazon plans in the next uh, few years to make it so that you don't have to leave your house, you don't have to go to a brick and mortar store to buy your, your groceries or the goods that you want. And what Amazon is saying is not only can you buy everything online, but they're also going to ship it to you like same day and they're going to use drones to actually bring it to your front door. So it sounds like that's what you're talking about in terms of the prescriptions. So look at Amazon's model. I know that Alibaba is now taking off in your region of the world. See if they're doing that and look at what already exists. And if you're early enough in the game, you might be able to build something that's in competition. Um, but it's, it's an interesting space because these really giant, um, what are they called? Marketplaces like Amazon, like Alibaba. They're, once they hit the market, it's really hard to disrupt them, right? So it's very difficult to compete them. Yes, exactly. So you, you can start now, do your research, see if there's a market for you. I like your idea of prescriptions, especially in Pakistan. Um, and one of the many reasons I've been working with Rehan for so long is because there's, from what I've seen and what he's told me, there's nothing but opportunity in Pakistan. Like there's yeah. there's so much potential. Yeah, because there's so much problems. Yeah, exactly. And it's it's much harder for us to get things up and running here in the United States because the markets are typically saturated. Um, there's a there's a game you have to play with the whole, um, you know, starting your business, getting seed funding, doing, um, you know, it's just there's there's this game, there's this process that's time consuming, and you don't have that, so you are in a better place to do this. Yeah, to some extent. Does that make sense? 
Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to hear how it goes. Um, if you're on Facebook, which if you're not, I'm sure you will be. I, I, after I, I, I just my name is Jama. Okay. Jama, say that again. Jawa, J A W A D. Oh, Jawal. It's nice to meet you, Jawal. Um, you please connect with me on Facebook and I have um, an online virtual classroom with 50 plus countries represented where people are asking these exact questions that you're asking. And instead of just one-on-one -on -one feedback, you're getting 10, 20, 30 people offering suggestions, advice, connections, opening their networks. So it's a great place to, to connect and to learn more. So please join my classroom. Yeah, why not? I just, I already sent you a request maybe 10 years ago. You can accept it. Oh, you did. Okay. Um, you know what? Do me a favor. Hit, uh, go back to my page, cancel that request and send it again so that it shows up in the top. I've had so many requests that I, I, I don't have time and then they get lost. Um, yes. Uh, so, Joelle, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I look forward uh, to seeing you in my classroom. And now I'm excited because I've actually connected with you like this. So we'll talk more. Yeah, inshallah. Great. Thank you. Enjoy, enjoy your evening. Thank you. So we have we have Rehan, why don't should we take we a have, question or you want to keep passing it around the table? So these people have a question, but they're not they're a little shy. There's another guy who has a question. Go ahead. Okay. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hi. Hello, I'm Amy. Hi Amy. This is Navid. Navir? Navir. Delegation, the structuring and all of that. What is your question today? And you'll have to say your name once more because of my uh, phone Navir. kept beeping while you were talking. It's Navir. 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 N-A-W-A-I-D. Oh, Navir. Okay. Thank you. It's very nice to meet you. I really don't have any question. They just... Give it to me that ask any question. Actually, I really don't I have, don't have any question. So I have already. Okay. Talked. If you don't have question, do you have some general um, advice or guidance for our viewers who are all here because this is an entrepreneurship show? Actually, uh, as of now, I don't have really don't have any idea that what you guys do. So. Okay. Tell me, I will. I would be in a better place to tell, give any suggestion or ideas. Yeah. Great. Well, I hope you'll join my virtual classroom so that we can get you more engaged in our discussions there. Um, will you tell us what it is that you do? Yeah, I'm an IT guy. I'm an IT professional. <laughs> uh, after, I'm working in a market research company and handling a uh, handling their catty. Uh, call center operations and uh, telecom operations. Wonderful. So what do you do in terms of the market research for the telecom? So we have a lot of clients. I think you must be heard of uh, Nielsen. It's a global uh -huh. market research company. So we do brand health checking studies, uh, consumer satisfaction studies. like this. Oh, good. Um, so there's actually someone in the, my virtual classroom who wants to start a call center and I don't remember what he asked, but he had questions. And if you were to join my virtual classroom, um, you would be able to help answer those questions and then you could ask your own questions and yeah, get so the support. Definitely looking forward to that. Yeah. So yeah, and it's really nice to meet you. I hope you guys are having fun tonight. Yeah. Yeah? How many people are there? It's around 20 people on the table. Oh, wow. This is a cool meetup. Yeah. And you guys are building peace between India and Pakistan. Yeah. 
we are more of trying trying that so Good. hopefully success got success yeah and that's how peace starts by building peace between individuals yep. that's wonderful thank you so much it's really nice to meet you. I'll look for you in my virtual classroom. Sure, I will, I will join that. Great, thank you. So nice to meet you, Navi. Same here, thank you. I think you are in a class where people are ready to talk. Yeah, I am. Hello. Uh, this is Sadakat. Uh, I'm also working yeah, with my colleague, Navi. Uh, he already introduced like the company just uh, a few minutes ago. Yeah. And uh, I don't know I'm working on the IT as a service yeah, delivery okay, for the yeah, marketing yeah, social company. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm looking up for these uh, Middle East countries here, UAE and Bahrain and Qatar. Like so yeah, we yeah, provide the solution yeah, in terms of IT yeah, uh, if anything is required. And then it's not not a particular really question, but uh, you guys are doing a really good job. That uh, you have some virtual environment socialization. I don't know yeah. how much you uh, Thank, Thank you. So you've seen our, uh, have you seen my virtual classroom? Yep, uh, uh, I'm already following you and the other law on the Facebook. And, uh, Wonderful. Wonderful. Right. Well, please, please join my virtual classroom if you haven't already. And um, pop up and either offer some advice or ask a question. That's how we all learn. Sure thing. We'll uh, do. I have to get over it. Yeah. It's so nice to meet you. And your name is Sadakar, right? Sayyid Sadakat Ali. Sadakat. Sadakat Ali. It's a little bit different. Sadakat uh, is a meaning of which means truth. So it, means, it means what? Truth. Truth. Once more? Truth. Good? Truth. Truth. Oh, interesting. Uh-huh. Cool. Well, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you for following. Thank you for uh, talking with our, our class here today. And um, I think, um, would you hand the phone back to Rehan so that we can answer some questions from our viewers? Sure. Thank yeah. you. Have fun tonight. Thank you. We have two very, very interesting people left. <laughs> Okay, we we should really answer a question or two because our numbers keep dropping. So, sure. can you just ask, a, scroll through, look for a question, and we'll answer it. Okay. A ask your questions. Now's the opportunity, guys. So we have Mateen Ghani saying, "Ha ha, peace between India and Pakistan <laughs> with general and politicians who are war mongers." Uh, so, Mr. Uh, Mateen Ghani is a social entrepreneur. He, I know him personally. He's an amazing guy. He used to work for an airline. And he runs a phenomenal institute in Karachi where anybody can go and learn anything they want on their own. It's phenomenal. I've never seen anything like this. Uh, it's like an old-fashioned incubator where they could learn English. They can learn uh, uh, different subjects. So, he does an, an amazing job. He comes to the U.S., Collects fund for two months and then spends it in Pakistan for ten months. So my salute to Mateen Saab always. Mateen, will you please connect with me? I'd love to hear more about your institute, and I would love to have you as a mentor in my virtual classroom, Amy Carrier's classroom. That would be so amazing. If you can yes, talk. there's a link above this video, uh, so you can just go there and and ask to join. So here is Hamad. Hey, Hamad, how are you doing? Hi, Hamad. Okay, here's a question. Anila Khan has a question. Go ahead and answer. I do sketching. Can you tell me how to do business? Uh, you, the, guys, you got to give me a little bit more. If you do sketching, um, you mean you just do drawing, then you can do illustration. And you should look online um, at Fiverr or Odesk for people who are looking for illustrations. Um, if you are an artist, then you will be able to actually come up with an illustration for someone's concept that they want to um, they want to have an image for it so that they can actually explain their story a little bit better. Um, so sell your artwork, your sketches that way. So everyone who is enjoying the show, kindly please share the video. 
आप लोग अगर वीडियो शेयर कर देंगे तो ज्यादा लोग देख लेंगे और ज्यादा लोग हम हमसे फायदा उठा लेंगे अगर आप वीडियो नहीं शेयर करेंगे तो हम कुछ नहीं कर सकते आ, लेकिन लोगों कम लोगों को फायदा होगी Yes please share this um this is a really interesting show today you're getting advice and you can ask questions of different people around this table uh Rehan is in Dubai and he's having a a meet and greet for people to talk about peace between India and Pakistan and actually it was a meet up just meet up not a India Pakistan peace thing it just happened that we have one of the guys is a peace monger himself or a peacemaker Okay, well I I heard a couple other people say that it was a a building peace. Look, you don't have to teach about peace between India and Pakistan to build it, right? You just create relationships between people. That's how we build peace. Right? So and that's that's what you do. Okay. Here's a question. Rehan, uh how do you manage your business and how many manage more than one company? uh so the best answer to that is to learn delegation uh for example imagine you have six brothers and sisters so you hand the baby to the older sister and then sometime the younger sister is get delegated and the older sister is delegated or the bigger brother is delegated that's what delegation is you just pass around the job to different people and see which person does the best job and then give them the liberty to grow and 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 at the same time we give them confidence that if you make a mistake it's okay don't punish them for making the mistake but the the big challenge which we have in our company and in our country in general is that people don't want to take the responsibility sometimes because they're scared they're fearful that if they does a mistake what will happen so what i do is i do everything delegation i am very very blessed to have amazing people with me who help me manage the businesses i don't do daily management as much as as little as i can that's what i do do you want to add something on it anyway well i think um you need to build a team and depending where you are you'll understand your culture and your people better than anyone um and you have to take the time to find team members who can work with you and for you uh to help you build your vision and build a team you have to build trust people have to like you and respect you and trust you so make sure that you are following through on the things that people trust you with hi bertola happy weekend from sweden yay thank you happy weekend almost from boston So we have another amazing guy who has just started his business we learn more about him or hum log associate hain outside the dilemma power hi me hello my name is prasanna say it again slowly for me prasanna 500 prasanna yeah yeah prasanna okay hi prasanna nice to meet you i'm amy carrier nice to meet you too So uh, I used to work for Emirates airline in the IT department I worked there for 15 years and then decided to leave and start something on my own So I've gone in the same line with uh, providing IT solutions IT services So but it's a new startup in Dubai for me and it's a new learning thing for me because I was never into all these things So this is, I was like not good in business at all hello i'll let you answer when you so, why, why do you say that because that, uh, i've never learned the huh? trick of What's doing the business i've just been uh, sitting behind a computer for the last 20 years mind, and that's uh, always been my life so okay and then suddenly now you know going out meeting people meeting and doing presentations it's all like a new thing for me but it's really nice it's very different i see a very similar uh-huh. So only uh I, I just had a question so uh how so can i take my business to the next level well describe to me what is the level that you're at so right how now we is it and what's happening right now it's five year old company uh it's an indian based company i've just started a branch for them in uae uh-huh and uh 
We're doing okay in terms of business, but we're not making that kind of uh, monetary benefit where we can hire more people, give jobs to more people. So, okay. How can yeah, I look at, okay, you know, now, like and, uh, moving forward to, to expand the business? Okay. Because, you know, uh, the okay. So how, is your business doing well right now? Yeah, it's doing well. Okay. Um, so if it's doing well right now, this is the time to do the behind the scenes work to, um, to actually think about how do we bring it to the next level. So you're doing this at the right time. You always want to um, change your company, change your organization when things are going well. Yeah. Once they're doing this and they're starting to tank, then you're in crisis mode. You've yeah. already yeah. customers and you don't want to do that. So bravo, you're in the right place. Yeah. And what the first thing you really need to do is pull together um, your, uh, your advisors and your key stakeholders and um, some customers. Okay create do some strategic planning have you ever done that before um, we did it three years back but last okay. year we haven't done anything like that okay so where are you on your strategic plan from three years ago uh, we are like i think 60 percent of what we have planned okay so this is good you're in the right place and was it a five-year strategic plan yeah, it was a five-year plan, yes. Perfect. So what's left? What's the other 40%? The next 40% was uh, to make more money. Okay. I have more, I have more clients, basically. Okay. So, um, yeah, I suggest that you start. Uh, I would do kind of a, a mid-range check-in okay. with your strategic planning. You're not going to start a new five-year plan immediately. Yeah but you're going to do the check-in because you're three years into your current five-year plan and uh, bring in some stakeholders and look for the people who aren't really the happiest with your, with your business because Wait, they're the ones that you're going to learn from, right? Don't yeah. just bring in the people who say, Oh, we love you. You're great because you're not going to learn from them. They're, yeah. they're amazing. Take them out to lunch, let them tell you how great you are and then go home and do work. Right. So um, I'm going to find out right now why you've lost customers. And hopefully your um, customer team, your sales team, is aware of which customers you've lost and find out what happened there. Okay. Um, and then start thinking about what, what you're learning about those customer failures and how you can build that into both the last 40% of your current strategic plan, but also into where you want to take this company next because you're at this five-year mark, right? Yes. Five-year mark, first of all, it's wonderful. Congratulations. It's amazing right. to get five years. But at the same time, you want to be already thinking about changing it and making it better. Okay. So have you thought about that? Do you have some ideas? Uh, we started now into a lot of mobile app developments and going, you know, like completely into mobile technology. So today, the world is on mobile phone. So, yeah. and uh, that, that was the whole point now. So for everything that we do, we're trying to come up with an app so that on a click on a button, they're able to get what information they want. So that's that's the moving forward plan. Yeah, and that's a great plan. Yeah, mostly targeting hospitals, schools. So we we've just made a uh, good school management system where the parent, the uh, the school management can exactly track where the child is. On the time the child is left, the child is left home. Till they get back, they can completely track what the child is doing. There you go. That's perfect. So right now, I've, I've, I've just started my work on that, trying to sell that product now. So that is moving forward plan, trying to get as many as schools that would at least do a, you know, like a one-year plan with our product and see how it works out. And if they want to buy it, then they can buy it later. So that, that's the whole thing. That's wonderful. 
That, congratulations, you're doing really well. Thank you. From just from what I'm hearing from you, so just keep it up. Like, you know, like developing products and apps and stuff like that. We're doing really well, but only yes. when it comes to like the selling point, I think we're slightly stuck. Yeah, so, it's um, the economy is changing because the world's changing. People yes. are less apt to buy big ticket things or make big commitments, but they're very willing to put something on their phone, right? Absolutely. So I think I think you're thinking in the right direction. It's, it's actually something that I'm thinking about too, um, putting my curriculum up online on Udemy, for example, but would it be smarter for me to spend some time right now putting it, building an app? So yes. it's, that's you're you're thinking along the lines that I would be thinking. So yeah. just keep it up. I think there was a time when people wanted to log into a website and do stuff. But the same thing now people don't want to log into a website. Right. I think they want it as an app. And they would prefer it as an app. So. Right. And and think about it. Where are you right now? So Rehan and I are doing this show. He's in Dubai, which we could do he has his laptop there. We could okay. do this. But now everybody is using their, their mobile phone because yeah. we're so portable, right? So exactly. you're, you're tapping into the market there with thinking about what are the apps and the products you can sell through the mobile phone. Um, and yeah, it's, it's getting trickier because first of all, fewer people in the world have computers or laptops. Um, more people have mobile devices. So whatever we build has to be compatible with mo mobile devices. Um, even, for example, I, I have an iPad in front of me. When I travel, I take the iPad, and there are things I can't do on it that I could do on my uh, on my laptop, but I don't have my laptop. So, yeah, that's great. It's really nice talking with you. I, I feel like people could learn a lot from this, and I've seen a couple questions pop up uh, about okay. the strategic planning. Um, can you scroll up and see them? Oh, I don't know what I did. That's okay. That's okay. We can give it back to Rehan for a minute and he can pull up yeah, yeah. a question. Nice to talk to you. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice to talk with you too. Please, will you um just send me a message on Facebook just so that I, I I'm sure I that I am connected with you. Sure, okay. I will do that. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank Wonderful. you. Enjoy your Thank evening. You. Cheers. Bye. Careful. Okay. Hey again, everyone. So I think the time of the show is already over. Thank you, everyone. What do you think, Amy? Well, no, because we got started 45 minutes late. So I think we should take some questions. It's already 45. Um, okay, cool. So what else? Okay, here's a good question for you. Oh, this is what we were just talking about. So um, we were talking about strategic planning. And this is one of the really important pieces of starting any business. Um, you need to create a strategic plan. And that's typically um, a three to five year plan that you develop with your stakeholders from your business. So those are current customers. Those are customers you've lost. So people who've left you for whatever reason, you want to bring them in um, to find out why they left you. Uh, these are also your investors. These are community members. These are people who would be um, invested uh, or potential customers. And you build a plan. You ask them for input and insight about how can you build your company into the best it can be in the next three to five years. So there's a lot more to strategic planning, but that's kind of the basic. Um, so hopefully that helps you. Mughal, Akbar. And Rehan is miming. <laughs> we have another amazing entrepreneur. And this amazing entrepreneur uh, started with a job of $500 in Dubai. Here he is. 
and uh, he then uh, now owns a factory of water he owns a factory of ceiling fans and he owns two restaurants so he is a guide you need to have you need to be in our classroom please hi Abby. how are you i'm well how are you I'm what is good. your name my name is Mir Zulfikar Ahmad. So Mir the short, M I R Mir, M I R Mir. M I R B or V? Yeah, P M I R V. M I R M Mother India Romeo. Okay. M I R V. How are you? Tell me about yourself and your two amazing businesses. Uh, I started the business at the age of fourteen only. So I was just school step out. And from that time till now, I did many businesses, many of failures, many of success, was all together. But at the last, I'm happy and doing good. Good. So can you tell us what was one of your biggest lessons from one of your failures? You have to be very sincere with yourself. You have to work very hard. You don't have to listen to anybody else except your own self. Make decision at your own self. And be believe Saad, that. <laughs> Saad was peeking over your shoulder. The other way. Saad. Yeah. yeah. So you have to be sincere with yourself. So really honest with yourself about what you're doing well and what you're doing wrong. Yeah. And you have to be hard work, of course, hard work at your own subject. And try to learn, try to learn as much as possible, whatever you do. Yes. Learn, 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 every day learn. I agree. So can you tell us about one of your greatest wins? Uh, actually, it's any business or anything which I really put effort I believe I got it on the right time. You can say 90% from 100%. Whatever, whatever thing I did started, it reached in a goal, and we succeed in that if we really put the really hard work. In. So I was, I was just. Watching your classes, Mr. Rehan, some last lessons, uh, your lectures, it was so nice. You're helping a lot with the many good ideas to the many people around. Thank you. I appreciate that. Are you already a member? You're getting a selfie. Can I be in your selfie? Hold up the phone so I can be in the selfie. Uh, oh, I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Come back. I want to be in the selfie. <laughs> oh, I lost it. All right. Um, so are you already a member of um, Amy Carrier's classroom? I would just check. I did just subscribe. Yeah, please join us because I would love for you to be one of the mentors who helps to answer other people's questions. Sure, no problem. Many times. I'll send you the request. Okay. Wonderful. And definitely um, connect with me, add me on Facebook as a friend as well. Sure. I think you are already your friends of the Facebook. We're already friends? Thank you. Yeah. Yes. I have one guy who wants yeah. to ask you a question. Sure. Thank you very much. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, Amy. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm good also. Last week we talked. Uh, if you remember, I don't know whether you remember or not. Last What's week, your name? Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Hello. Last week we had it. Yes. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Last week, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, last week uh, I was on Facebook Live with Ryan Bai, and today I'm with him. And uh, as you remember, last week I told you that uh, I'm going to make an online video. So the video is already almost done. Just uh, need to upload. 
and i need to do some editing or something so definitely my video will be uh, online right so what is the video about again the video the topic of that video is actually uh, why we are afraid of people this is the uh, the question which we asked last week is uh, my video is based on that uh, question so i love this i love this okay because last week i was afraid of that thing and this week i made that video and uh, i'm going to upload that soon inshallah wonderful yes soon inshallah will you please tag me so i can see it for sure i send you a facebook friend request also i don't know you accept it or not uh, uh, if it's a pending request just cancel it and request me again so that i've gotten so many i i get behind and then i lose people Yes, so I'm just cancelling it now. Okay. Yeah. No, but. And then uh, send again. Okay, good. Yeah, but uh, your friend request option is not uh, open. It is blocked. Let me send you a message. Okay, send me a message. I'll add you that way. Yeah, sure. Then I will tag you on my video. Okay. Yes. It's amazing. So I so want to hear this, but I also want to see your video. Can you give us a tiny little piece? of how you teach people not to be afraid of each other actually i just uh, you want me to say now well i want to see the video and i want you to tell everybody else can you can you tell everybody quickly just let me give you a glance of video okay uh here it is but it's in urdu language Okay. Are you going to get um are you going to have it uh captioned in English? But okay. it is in It's in Urdu or English? Urdu, 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 not in English. Okay. So can you tell me in English what it is? What are you saying? It is actually what I'm saying is uh, we must not afraid from people because uh, what we want to do we must do and we are responsible for all our actions so because if we do something good success belongs to us and if it is failure failure is for us also so why we are afraid of people that what you are going to say what he is going to say what that guy is going to say why we are afraid of that thing because success failure both belongs to me so why should i afraid of somebody else so actually that was the purpose of uh, this video i love it I love yes. it. It's such an important message. Yes. Um yeah, I uh, please send it to me and I hope you can get English subtitles on it. I hope inshallah uh, I will do my best uh, to have subtitles also. Okay, and good. I do yes. Let me send you a message. Or perhaps you can record another one in English. What do you think? This is I'm I'm thinking also because uh, people from my country because people from from my country definitely uh, some are so, some do understand English but some don't so right. I prefer my own language to convey my message right and uh, definitely I will go for subtitles also I send you WhatsApp uh, Facebook message. and uh, you can check wonderful thank you so much it's so nice to meet you after you popped up last week you are leaving just now okay uh, yes. so check right thank, thank you, you. so wait where were you last week when you joined us were you in dubai my, no no i was at my home actually in pakistan no no here in dubai oh in dubai okay yes. that's great i'm glad you could participate in this meet up or whatever whatever rayhan's calling it oh, yeah sure i will uh, i will do my best it's so nice to meet you thank you, thank you. i'm going to look for you i'm see i've got all these friend requests i'm going to yes. look for you on facebook ibad ali i b a d ali i b a d ali i think you're in my classroom aren't you no 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 i'm not you're not okay i definitely want you to join my classroom please because yes, sure. you're you're teaching you're teaching peace um so thank you for that and i'm actually i b a t l e um let me see if this is you no oh, there are too many there are too many so, so just send me a message 
a Facebook message. Oh, okay. That's a cool picture. Look at all those beautiful flowers in the background. Yes. Okay. Um, send me send me a request, and I will add you um, when we're done here. Sure. I'll send you a message also. Okay. So nice to meet you. I bought. Is it I bought or e bought? I bought. Ibad. Not okay. Ibad, not Ibad. It is Ibad. Okay, Ibad. Nice to yeah. meet you. <laughs> Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy your evening. No, please. Mamana! Yay! I wanted to talk to you. How are you? <laughs> That's Maria. Meet my sister. Hello, Miriam. How are you, my dear? I haven't I haven't met you before. My name is Amy Carrier. It's so nice to meet you. Are you ladies having fun tonight? Yeah. Yeah? We're just listening to people talking, that's it. Ah, are you learning anything? <laughs> I don't know. Not me. You don't know? <laughs> That's okay. You can just be people watching, right? Yeah. Miriam, it's so nice to meet you. I feel like I've met almost all of your siblings except for you. <laughs> so, what's that? You can talk to her. Oh, okay. You're passing it off to Momina. Hello, Momina. How are you? I'm good. How have you been? How have you been? <laughs> I've been well, thank you. How's your trip to Dubai? It's good. We've been really busy. That's why I couldn't answer your uh, to your messages. That's okay. I know you're on holiday. That's fine. You know, answer me when you get back to Pakistan. No problem. Um, how are you enjoying your time with your grandmother? My grandmother. Yeah, it's been fun with her. Good. Good. I know she's in Pakistan a lot, right? But yeah. so now you're visiting her in Dubai. This will be visiting my grandfather. And your grandfather, right. How's he doing? He's well. He's better. Good. Good. I'm glad. So, all right. Well, do you have any advice or anything you want to say to the viewers today? <laughs> Sorry, I don't need to do this. I don't know what to say. Okay. So can I introduce you really quickly? Um, to everyone who's watching, if you don't know, this is Momina Alawala. She is Rehan's oldest child, and they are in Dubai together as a family right now. And um, I've talked with Momina a few times about what it is that she wants to do for work with her future. And she's a very bright young woman and I feel honored to have talked to her and been part of her thinking process. Um, so I wanted everybody to be sure that they know who they're talking to, who they're hearing from. Yeah. Thank you, Momina. I think, all right, I think we are almost done. Can you pass the phone back to your dad and we will wrap this up? Thank you. Nice to meet you, Miriam. So everyone, thank you for joining. It was a fantastic. Yeah, it was very cool. Are there, um, can we find just one more question to answer since we didn't do go. much Q&A today? There you go. Rehan, this is all you. I don't, I don't do buyers. Okay, what you saying? So how are, how do we differentiate between potential buyers and actual buyers? You differentiate between potential buyers and actual buyers by trying and asking them questions. So you create a filter, it's called a sales funnel. And you go on YouTube and search for how to create a sales funnel. Just like, uh, you know, like for example, if some a beggar comes to you and you judge them based on how they look, would you ask them questions, if they are true beggars or they're just, you know, dancers or whatever. 
So uh, that's what you do. You create a sales funnel, and that sales funnel will help you find the potential uh, leads. Everybody is a lead, but you have to create a funnel so you know uh, who is the real person and who is just wasting your time. Can you define a funnel for people so they know what you're talking about? A funnel is like a funnel you use to put petrol in a car or uh, milk in a bottle, which is uh, big from the top and uh, small in the bottom. So you put everybody through the funnel. Whoever comes through is your customer. Who doesn't come through is just going to run away anyway. That's a sales funnel. So what are the steps to get them through that funnel? Where do people start and how do they get them all the way down into the funnel? It's an hour long topic, so I can't really cover it in a minute. The best way is to go on YouTube and there's tons of videos on how to create a sales funnel and they can learn from this. Good idea. Okay, is there another question? Yeah, last question's over. Thank you so much, Amy. It was great to see you. You look lovely in red. And thank, uh, you. thank you for the time you're taking in for this. Got this. Um, yeah, and let me just wrap up by saying thank you, everyone, for watching this. I know this was an unusual show today, um, but uh, I think we're still live. Uh, I think Rehan just shut off his video. Uh, this was an unusual show today, but um, I think it was valuable because you got to hear from different people doing different types of work. Um, and everyone, Saeed Haider, uh, your nine to five job for 23 years, join Amy Carrier's classroom. It's a group on Facebook and ask your question there. Um, I am Amy Carrier. I encourage you to follow me on Facebook. I'm facebook.com slash Amy Carrier. Um, I also have a page slash Amy Lynn Carrier. And I have created a virtual classroom where you can learn how to become an entrepreneur, how to build your career, how to build your confidence, and where you can get real time uh, feedback and advice from other people who have been on their own career and entrepreneurship journey um, to help you answer your questions and solve your problems. So join Amy Carrier's classroom. It's facebook.com slash groups slash Amy Carrier's Classroom. There are three questions you have to answer in order to join, so make sure you answer those. And I look forward to lots of discussion happening there. I also have a live interactive lesson like this every Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern and 10 p.m. Pakistan time. So just like the same time slot for uh, the show that I do with Rehan right here, um, I do the same thing with just me and the topics are exactly what's coming up in Amy Carrier's classroom for the week. So you can inform what the lesson is going to be about. Uh, Zafar, thank you so much. Uh, please, if you haven't joined my classroom, please do that. And you can always get access to all of these videos that Rehan and I do, as well as my weekly lessons and my little mini lessons, which are three minute free lessons on the top three things you need to know about anything. It could be how to use your Facebook profile to create your brand or how to get the most out of your LinkedIn profile or how to build your confidence. You can find all of those on my YouTube channel which is Amy Carrier Empowers. I like to empower people. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I've got lots of other social media you can find on my Amy Carrier page. Um, thank you, Mughal Akbar, who says it's worthwhile to listen. I'm so glad you're here. And we will, uh, Rehan and I will resume this next Friday. We will answer your questions again then. And remember, in three days, you can join me live for my weekly lesson. Um, and make sure you join my virtual classroom so that you can be part of figuring out what that lesson is going to be about. Thank you all so much. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.